guys. I just want to do a, like a collective project share for all three of these companies. Um, as you guys know, you can use Meliza 10 to save in all three of these companies. I am. I just didn't feel like doing, you know, three separate videos. I'm just going to do everything all into one. I have a little mini haul for um, the Happy Crafter. Um, just want to give you guys a little update. I've just been, if you guys didn't see, my son flooded the house. So we had to deal with that. I am about to get my braces off. And then after that, I'm going to be doing some um, oral surgery, which is going to be like a whole, um, almost, almost like a year and a half long little treatment plan. So that's, I'm like worried about that. Um, and then um, my friend here in Las Vegas, she is a content creator and she's doing um, this big old health challenge and she wanted us to join with her. I didn't do the last challenge she had. It was like 30 days of Peloton. Um, so I agreed to do this one and I effed up you guys by day three. I just wanted to give up, but I am already on day 16, I believe. And um, I'm so proud of myself. So um, I did cut my caffeine, cold turkey. Caffeine, I don't really drink coffee, but um, caffeine meaning I was drinking about three to four Red Bulls a day, which is not great. So I had a lot of stomach pain, a lot of acid, you know, reflex, heartburn. And by week one, I had none of that. It went away completely. So I knew that was the main reason. So um, I've been really good cutting all that out, cold turkey, but um, I, I, I was just drained. I'm just so tired. So I've just been sleeping my life away. I've been working out and then just laying in my bed all day because of the caffeine withdrawals. So I haven't been crafting really. And then, yeah, my son flooded the house Saturday. Wendy's birthday was on Sunday. So Saturday I was trying to craft um, all these um, cow related items because she loves cows also. I think that's why we bonded because we love how um, crafting for cows and cow print. Um, I think her favorite colors are, is pink and blue. Not necessarily this shade, but I knew her favorite colors were pink and blue, and I think her craft room is pink and blue as well. So this is gonna be the craft caddy from my Crafting World Designs. You guys need to get this. I think this is a perfect little um, caddy um, to do Happy Meal with, to send out goodies. I just love them so much. But I have some cow print straws. I already sent some to Wendy already a while ago, but just to give a little full effect. So that is the craft caddy. Um, what else did I make for her? I made two little tags. So these are the new um, romantic vintage tags from Scrap Diva. These um, alphas from Scrap Diva as well. I put Moo. And um, these cow images are from Etsy. It's just a little um, clip art that I bought. I am learning how to use my Apple computer. I'm just so um, used to doing Windows, so I've been figuring out how to do um, my Apple computer with my Cricut. So I've been loving teaching myself how to do the print and cut option with that. And then this is from Scraptiva as well. This little doily piece, so cute. And I just found this little bow pre-made um, on my little wall of stuff that I have in my craft room and I thought it goes went perfectly for this little tag and then this cute little milk carton I forgot I think it's a chaos craft die and once again um, the new tag set from scrap diva their romantic vintage tags I think it's called but I don't know why I just love stacking all three sizes so the tag set does come with three sizes I just love stacking all three of them together, but you don't have to do that. I just love the way it looks. Made that, and I think that's the only crowd things that I made. Oh, I actually made. So I started to make one of these little gift boxes. This is also new from Scrap Diva, and but I didn't finish it because this is when the house flooded. <laughs> Um, but I printed out some little images from Etsy. Look at these cute little cow boots. 
little cowgirl. Um, I took one of these paper clips that comes with the new Memdex from Scrap Diva. Um, but yeah, I was in the process of making, you know, cow stuff and that's, yeah, that happened at the house and it just like, oh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm over it. But I'm currently waiting for stuff from AliExpress to send to Wendita for her birthday. I love you, girl. <clears throat> what else and then here goes the new um ice cream mini album from my crafting world designs i i think i made four of them yes four um i wasn't sure if i was going to make them into like ornaments or tags i kept this part open just in case if i want to um put pictures right here obviously i was making this um the cover if i did make it a mini album and then um, using this to, yeah, this portion open if I want to add a little picture or something or journaling right there. But um, here goes the first one. I love these little um, butterflies from the Happy Crafter Shop. I know I bought multiple orders of those stocked up. Um, this is also from the Happy Crafter Shop, the extra large rose. And this rosette was from her coffee kit. I should have distressed the edges of this, but aren't these images so cute? I got it from um, Etsy. And the sentiment ice cream comes with this um, mini album and the word sweet. Look how precious. And then this is from the Frank Garcia Christmas line, the newest one. I just cut a portion of that out. More of the butterflies right there. Butterflies in, um, what's this called? That stuff, yep. This one, more of the Happy Crafter Shop cabochons right there. This is um, also Frank Garcia. I don't know which pa um, paper line it's from. I think the Miel. I'm not sure. Very cute. I just love these images. Look how cute and precious she is. More of butterflies. What is this vellum? That's what I have. Cut these butterflies in vellum, in colored vellum. And then another extra large rose right there. And I did add some diamond dust to that. So cute, but I wasn't sure like a tag ornament. Um, so the set does come with another um, base piece with the um, the page, the whole enforcers, the three. Yeah. So did that. Um, let's see. I did want to practice because Nachi is having a coffee related um, swap and um, I'm not ready to join swaps right now. <laughs> so I am following, I'm trying to follow her prompt and um, just doing it um, like, you know, for fun by myself. But um, if I did join, um, this is the first thing that I made. I still am trying to um, follow her um, list of requirements. But I went with a Dunkin' Donut theme this is Scrap Diva's um, coffee gift card holder. So here's the sleeve. Um, you could fit stuff in here. And then I Velcroed this part where you put your um, gift card in. And then I put the first coffee. That's Velcro. And then I just combined it with her um, 3D sand pale die. Another Velcro right here. And then this little tag that I made. And the bits, pieces, I used the Happy Crafter um, coffee kit and she had some clay bits. And then I used some buttons and galore in there. And then I just housed my little Duncan dangle in there. 
I don't know if I shared this with you guys here on YouTube, but I did make a TikTok and stuff on it. Yeah. I just wanted to go with the Duncan theme for her coffee swap if I do participate. I'm not sure. I told her if I don't, I'll, I want just to send it to her directly and probably do it the other one as a giveaway or something. But, and then I stuck some Korean coffee in this little sleeve. I don't know if you guys tried this before. Um, if, I know like Asian households, they have it, but it already has like the coffee and creamer and sugar in here. So all you have to do is just add hot water and it's like perfectly sweetened. I love this stuff. This is a Korean brand, I believe. I'm not sure, but yep. Get it at the Asian markets. Um, what else? Okay, 22 Tags Tuesday. I don't know how much I've shown or shared here on YouTube, but... Um, yeah, these ones I made live here on YouTube, if you guys didn't catch that. Me and Wendy, love, love, love. If you guys didn't see the new My Creative Time release, oh my gosh, so cute. So I did place my order today and ordered the new um, like Halloween costume for the Gingies. So cute. But um, I wish she would have come out with some um, costumes for these guys. So cute. And then um, this is what I made with Hey Amanda this past Tuesday. This is from My Pixie Dust Designs. See Santa's feet hanging out there. I wanted to make this look like a chimney. Do I have the dies? So this is gonna be tag C. Here are all the pieces. So as you can see, I made this, I put this part right there, and then I add this the little snow part to make it look like a chimney. And then these little Santa legs are from KS Craft, I believe. And the, the Believe is uh, Scrap Diva's Christmas words. I loved how this turned out. And then in here it's um, Buttons and Galore. It's called Polar, Polar Wind. I think this is like the perfect to make it look like snow at that. That just looks so good. Um, what else? Another pixie dust. This is going to be tag E. So you can make this a shaker, but I didn't. And then another pixie dust is this tag B. And I just filled it up with a whole bunch of buttons and galore stuff. I have a snowflake button and some candy canes and some clay bits and this is going to be the elf mix that I add in here. The Jolly is from Scrap Diva and this little elf thing I ordered for through AliExpress and I guess it was an add-on for the bootleg version of the um, Jaded Blossom gnome. I thought I was getting the whole gnome but I got the um, just a little add-on. So I just added that um, the pieces onto this to make it look like the elf is holding. I don't know. But yeah. And then this one is a Scrap Diva die. This one was just like the very end. I had it pre-cut and we went over. I think we were on live for two hours. I try to stick to like an hour and make only two tags. But we stood on there for two hours and I made four tags. So I just like threw stuff together. I forgot what tag this is, but this one's a cute one, you guys, because there's another uh, part of the tag where you can make it um, like um, a gift card holder or like it opens up like a card or something, but added some cabochons and some chipboard, but that's it. I think that's it. Um... Yep, and then now for Happy Crafter Shop, I placed my order. I forgot that I ordered these flowers, and then once I realized what it was, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, my flowers. I already opened everything because I was excited about it, but here goes my free gift. These are so cute. 
So I got two of these with the silver centers. And I do have a, a collection in mind. I do want to do Pastelloween. Try that out. And I'm going to use these flowers for it. And then I did get the gold option as well. I really, I was dying to get my hands on these ones. These give off like Wednesday Adams vibes. I just love the black. Black is my favorite color. So I had to get two of these. I would have got more. I didn't want to be stingy. So two is max, my max. And then I got the multi-pack with different colors and different centers. I just love how these look. And then these ones are so cute. I love the colors. Nati already made um, like a Day of the Dead type project using these flowers. Oh my gosh, so cute. Perfect um, color combo, I believe. I just need to find some paper to go with this. Super, super cute. I think that's it, you guys. I'm about to um, film a D stash. I'm trying to get that out the way so I could get back to crafting. I just want to share with you guys um, what I have been crafting. I know I've been just been touch and go, um, but like I said, I'm not going to be leaving direct links. I told you guys what these items were, so do with that information as you will. I will leave the direct um, links to the websites, just not to every single die because nobody got time for that. Not today, not me, probably tomorrow. Probably my next video, but just not this one, okay? Not today. But I hope you guys have a great and fabulous weekend. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye.